there's a social contract that has been breached, and Kenyans have understood that. Yes, yes. There's the government and there's the governed. The government gets their legitimacy from the consent of the governed. When you saw people storming parliament that day on the 25th of June, that was people saying this is an illegitimate government and we don't recognize them. That's, that's the first thing that the Kenyans have understood. They're reclaiming back their country. The other thing I would say is, how do you, there's calls for dialogue. But how do you dialogue with someone who's insincere? Yesterday we saw the, the president nominate 11, was it 11 cabinet secretaries? Yeah. Among those people was the Minister of Interior. This is a man, and I say this without fear of contradiction, who has blood on his hands. This is someone who oversaw the murder and the, the gunning down of innocent, unarmed civilians on the road like dogs, like animals. So that's the first person. The other person who was retained was the CS of de Defence. This is a person who unconstitutionally deployed the military. What he did just made, it brought so much tension to the country. So now when Ruto brings back such people, to the cabinet. What he's doing is spitting on the graves of the people who died in the, in the past one month. So you can't dialogue with such a person. He has no goodwill. No so, good so no dialogue is what you're saying, right? And you're saying to me that so long as the core issues are not addressed, people will continue to go back to the streets. 